With Liberty Me, I'm Kyle Platt, here with Naomi Brockwell, a.k.a. Bitcoin Girl, a.k.a. everything, pretty much. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. So you just got off a panel for Bitcoin, and you're going to be on a panel for Liberty.me, and you're going to be on just about every panel. You're doing everything here today. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what you just said on the Bitcoin panel. Of course, you know, you do the Bitcoin Girl videos and everything like that. So what, what were you talking about? Well, um, the Bitcoin panel, I basically what I wanted to get out of the panel was uh, the fact that there's huge misrepresentation of Bitcoin in the mass media. And a lot of the people who came to the panel, they didn't really understand it that well and they were a bit skeptical of it. And you see that a lot. You see that the people who have the most criticism of cryptocurrency uh, come from the, you know, the least informed sectors of society. And uh, the people who are you know, advocating it the most, who are the most excited about this are the ones who know the most about it. So really, it seems to me that the difference is education. And that's really what I wanted to get out of this panel. So we had four amazing speakers on there, all coming from different aspects um, of the Bitcoin community. And I just feel that it really helped instill some confidence in people um, and it also sparked some interest. You know, there was a lot of curio cur curiosity there, which is very exciting. And uh, hopefully it will inspire people to go off and, and learn more about it themselves. There's only so much you can get from a short panel, but hopefully, you know, that's the first step people will take to um, really learning more about this very exciting technology. Sure, and Bitcoin is a great way to invest and libertarian entrepreneurship is a big theme at this uh, conference. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Liberty.me panel is all about that, all about investing in yourself for liberty. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about how someone might use Bitcoin? Of course, you do a lot of entrepreneurialism. Uh, how someone might use Bitcoin to invest in themselves for liberty? Using Bitcoin to invest in yourself for liberty. Well, I think you're investing in yourself just by exploring Bitcoin because there's so much incredible opportunity there. Venture capitalists are pouring money into this, uh, into the infrastructure around it, uh, which really suggests to me that there is incredible opportunity that uh, some sectors of society know about and others uh, just haven't been uh, exposed to that yet. And so I think that uh, really just the taking the first step, um, doing your research, I would never encourage anyone to invest in anything. I'm I'm not here to give investment advice, but I definitely say, you know, don't remain um, ignorant about this because clearly there are people out there who are very excited and they have very good reason to be. So it's it's important, you know, take everything with a grain of salt, do your own, own research, but definitely look into it because I'm incredibly excited about this. And, you know, that's why I sort of started um, Bitcoin Girl because I want to bridge the gap between the really technologically savvy people um, with the people who don't really understand what Bitcoin is. So I'm hoping that these videos will will help uh, explain to people why this is something to be excited about and to get them excited along with everyone else in the community. Well, sure. I mean, it's so much fun here. You know, you've got the Bitcoin stuff, you've got 3D printing, you've got Liberty.me. You've got all of these things which are the cutting edge of technology right now, especially on the internet. And libertarians are on the forefront. I just think it's fantastic. Yeah, I, I love this, this conference. It's my favorite time of year. This is my third year. Uh, my second year speaking. And as you said, yeah, I'm on three panels this year. Um, and also, this is the most exciting part for me. I am performing at the gala on Saturday. Uh, we're doing a spoof of Camelot, which should be very fun. And get this, I am going to be singing on stage with Steve Forbes, Grover Nordquist, Matt Welch, Mark Scows. Like, I mean, the, the people who are performing in Camelot are not your typical, um, uh, the typical people you'd associate with the performing arts, but it should be a riot. So I'm very excited about being able to play Guinevere and do some singing as well as discuss monetary policy. That sounds absolutely <laughs> amazing. I cannot yeah. wait. So well, somehow the you know the um, uh, different aspects of my life have, have converged in this <laughs> thing, like a, a conference where I get to discuss libertarianism, discuss uh, monetary policy, discuss Bitcoin and technology, and I get to sing and act. So it's uh, it's all it's all here. That's great. That's great. Well, I look forward to it. And thank you so much for being on. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us at Freedom Fest 2014. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you very much. Absolutely. Liberty.me. But everything that they're doing, they're amazing. I love them. Awesome. Thank you.